is doing. Get a vision of where we're going. So we'll never, if we don't get a vision of it, we'll never get there. Touch your name and say, get a vision. Without a vision, people have, now please, because because it's, I, I honestly, I got, I'm talking a whole lot. I got one thing to say. So what I need, what I... Manifest. <laughs> Look at baby girl. Somebody ought to shine. Signs, wonders, and miracles. somebody that's just first fruit that's just the first fruit that's just the first fruit I see everybody bringing that to the altar I see everybody moving like that touch your neighbor so that might be her day today but my day coming my day coming my day coming my day coming quick fast in a hurry quick fast in a hurry it's oh come on and celebrate life celebrate God celebrate the you look at me we have become so sin conscious we're running folk away from Jesus that's what we came for when the judgment comes and I, I just need to do a mess I'm gonna take a special night for those of you who just want to hear about what God's gonna ask you at judgment because I need to straighten that out real quick you I'm, I'm gonna walk you through the scripture so you can be straight God ain't gonna be sitting up there talking about okay we got let's go over these sins Because I just want to let you know, when I get up there, y'all going to have to wait because we're going to be there a while. Don't be looking at me, you too. I would say, God, do you have time to do all that? He said, I got all eternity. He ain't going to talk about but one thing, where you doubt it. The Bible says, look at me, lay aside every what? Weight, listen to this, weight and what? Plural, singular. Weight and sin. Weight and Because there's only one. When you're saved, there's only one sin. Unbelief. God says, I'll give you a word about your family. I'll give you a word about your children. I'll give you a word about health. I'll give you a word about prosperity. I'll give. Now, do you believe it? Are you willing to stay with it and let it grow you, stretch you?
God's way of doing things will always work better than the world's way of doing things. And when you run out of worldly answers, the situation and all that, the kingdom never runs out of answers. There are no limits in the kingdom. There's no lack in the kingdom. There's no shortage in the kingdom. There's no famine in the kingdom. There's no recession in the kingdom. There's no unemployment in the kingdom. There's no hunger in the kingdom. There's no homelessness in the kingdom. The world is limited and answers wisdom and knowledge. God is infinite with wisdom, knowledge, and solutions. Please say, and so, what, what's this? Here's our problem, because many of us wait until we run out of answers in the world and then go to God. Let me save you some trouble. Touch your neighbor, say, let me save you some trouble. Say, go to God first. Say, make him the priority. If you go after God first, everything that you would have went after will come after you. So anything you wanted, house, car, land, whatever you wanted, if you go after God, the house will chase you. If you go after God, the car will chase you. If you go after God, those of you who are single looking for be married, they'll chase you. If you go after God, you ain't got to look. Touch your name and say, show you right. So you make God first and you rely on him and you move into things that God ordained. I got to move. When you do that, when you start believing in God for family, when you start believing in God for finance, when you start believing in God for your health, you cannot lose. As Reverend Ike says, with the stuff I... Oh, come on, New York folk. Y'all know y'all used to go to Reverend Ike and Coda. Don't act like you didn't go. Mark 4, go get it, turn to Mark 4, Mark 4, Mark 4. In the resurrection, it gives us the power in the kingdom. Yet Mark 4, Mark 4, come on y'all, touch your neighbor. If your neighbor don't have a Bible, let them look on with you. They was in a hurry and left theirs at home. Those of you on your phone using your Bible, check them, make sure they're not texting. Mark 4, 26 through 32. I want you to understand what God gave us through his son give, getting up, the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. Say the word, word. became flesh. Became I am the word am. becoming flesh and dwelling on this earth. Now I need you to have an understanding of the kingdom because I am in the kingdom. Say Jesus died, was buried and resurrected to establish the kingdom. I am in the kingdom. I'm a king and a priest. Now watch this. Let me explain the kingdom to you. It's very simple. I want you to catch it. Uh, 26 verse. And he said, the kingdom of God is as, as if a man who should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how for the earth yields crop by itself. First the blade, then the head, after that the full grain in the head. But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts it in a sickle, and because of the harvest has come. He, then he says, to what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or what, as a parable, shall we picture it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when it is sown on the ground, is smaller than all the seeds on the earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes greater than all the herbs. It's small when it's sown, but when it comes up, it's greater. Small when it's sown, small when you give your offering, small when you look at the word, but when it comes full, it, it increases beyond all and shoots out large branches so that the birds of the air may, may nest under the shade. Now, look at, look at me. God's way of doing things and the kingdom way of doing things is very simple. I want you to understand that. When you get this, uh, you're going to be shouting going down 20 because you're going to understand it. It's simply the understanding of being a farmer. That, that, that's all. Now, I know it's a lot of city folk in here. You haven't seen no cow. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't fed no chickens. You know, uh, my brothers and I used to go over our grandmama's house, and we used to play with the chickens. And uh, I remember one, one Sunday I wouldn't eat because I, the, the chicken my grandmama killed that day was my pet. <laughs> and out of respect for my pet, I was not going to be accountable. 
And so I sat at the table, I got a whooping because I poured Kool-Aid out for him. I said, this is for the homie. <laughs> My daddy backhand me, I said, <laughs> anyway, watch this. <laughs> Corn, wheat, tomatoes, etc. it has and has to have a seed. It has to be planted a seed to receive it. Therefore, you must plant seed. Touch your neighbor and say, you must plant seed. Say, touch your neighbor again. Say, don't get, don't get nervous. This is not an offering sermon. I already got that. But if you want to bring something, bring it. And those of you who hit the number this week, bring our share. The Word of God is in seed for the kingdom of God. The Word of God is called the incorruptible seed. Say, incorruptible seed. That's, that's, that, that, Jesus was incorruptible. You got to understand the incorruptible seed. When you get this, you, it, it's amazing what's going to happen in you in a moment. Uh, it's, it, it, a seed will always produce and never fail. Say that with me. A seed will always produce and never fail. Now, if you sow, let's just simply, let's touch money for a moment. If you sow an offering and feel like you're not getting it back, it is because you didn't really, you, you aborted the process of a farmer. And I'm going to show, because if you don't believe it and understand it, it can't happen. I'm going to show you what I mean. Watch this. Watch it. Uh, uh, without the Word of God in the kingdom and kingdom living, your life is literally going to be a joke and unsuccessful. That's why John 1 said, in the beginning was the Word, say it with me, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. That means it grew, it came out, it came, it multiplied. Now, there will, look at me, saints, there will be no healing according to the kingdom without a word from God on healing. There will be no prosperity without a word from God on prosperity. There will be no deliverance without a word from God on deliverance. Watch this. If we expect to see the word of God operate in our lives, and if we expect to reap in the kingdom as kings, it's going to have to start with two things. Number one, making the kingdom of God priority. That means making it number one, kingdom. And then number two, knowing how important it is for us to get the right word for our situation to bring about the manifestation desire. Possess your seed and hold on to it. Your delivery is on the way. Get We Are the Word and possess all that God has for you. Dial 1-800-98-JESUS. That's 1-800-985-3787. Next week on Taking Authority, the continuation of We Are the Word. Taking Authority.